my name is Lily. I'm the creator behind MadeCraftGame.com and I'm doing an unboxing of Vijay Nagara today and I am so excited I can't even start. I love this game and when I saw it on the table I literally screamed. This is something I've been waiting for for a long time and it was just recently released. So let's get into it. All right so let's get this open. We have our rules of play. We have our rules and reference. We have our learn to play. And we have the playbook. Now these are our faction boards. We have the Delhi Sultanate, the Bomani Kingdom, and the Vijayanagara Empire. And of course, we have our Mongol invaders. These are not a playable faction, but players do take actions with them. And it looks like we've got a couple of these so each player can know what the other players are able to do. We have a sequence of play card. Um, this talks about then cards, Mongol invasion cards, succession cards, some root empire cards, and then of course the deck construction. Ah, yes, <laughs> I forgot about this. Um, so if there is a tie, you have to play the goat tiger game between the two tied players to, or three tied players, I can't remember if it goes to two or three, um, but you play the goat tiger game uh, to determine the winner. I have not played this yet. So I just, I know it's always been at the top of the table, but I've always forgotten that it's in play. So now there's actually two games in this game. Okay, so here's our Bamani Kingdom player aid for non-player Bamani Kingdom player aid. So this kind of makes the Bamani Kingdom a bot if you're playing two player. This is the bot for the Delhi Sultanate. And here's the bot for the Vijayanagara Empire. We have our chipboard with the most important thing, horses. And our map, oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna open this upside down, aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. Look at India, so pretty. So up here we have our mountain pass where the Mongol invaders will come from. And then we have our map of India that has influence and the regions with Delhi being the capital. And then down here, you have your influence for the Bamani Kingdom and the Vijayanagara Empire. Or is no, sorry, that's actually the Delhi Sultanate. No, yes, no, yeah, it's definitely the Vijayanagara Empire. It says it literally right below it. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, and then over here, you'll have your pieces to basically do a play and then become an eligible or eligible again and goes in loops. Um, one last thing I forgot to point out is the score track up here. So yeah. Obligatory bags. Got your dice for um, fights. The reason why I always die in this game. We have, ooh, an assortment of pieces, which I will open up to see. And we have our cards. So this is gonna be our deck of cards to play. This is a surprisingly large insert. I wasn't expecting it to have so little room on the inside um, underneath all of the pages, but I guess it doesn't really need that much, so might as well. It's a very cool image, like if you're just looking straight at it. I'm kind of enjoying this a lot. All right, let's start with the cards. Okay. So we 
have our deck cards. These will have the order of activation. So if you're eligible, you can, um, this one would have the Bamani Kingdom first, followed by the, uh, no, sorry, it's the Delhi, um, Delhi Sultanate first, followed by the Mani Kingdom, and finally the Vijayanagara Empire. And um, these will change depending on the card. We have our Mongol invasion during this time, either the Bamani Kingdom or the Vijayanagara Empire will take Mongol invasions. These invasions will uh, kind of attack the Delhi con Consulate. So we have our empire cards, which um, basically signifies the end of the game. The first time is a warning. The second time is the end of the game. I'm not sure what these cards are. Oh, I'm assuming these are probably for the um, automated versions of the factions. So this is the Delhi Consult uh, Sultanate. This is, I don't know why I keep saying Consultanate. This is the Romani Kingdom. And then this is the Vijayanagara Empire. And here's the card for the Mongols, which is always in place. So this just kind of helps you walk through their automated actions. And then you have the um, kind of, these are kind of what happens during certain events, um, for the different factions. Lastly, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what this card is. Looks cool though. And our icon references, which are quite important. It also has attack references of how attacks are carried out with these lovely dice. So now I put that back in order. So this one you, and you. Let's hope this was the right order. May not have been. That's our deck. All right, what is all this? Oh, wow. These have the pieces, oh wow, these actually have the symbols, like, I don't know if I can get this to focus, but these have the symbols etched into them. It's really cool. So you've got your sons for your Vijayanagara Empire. You have your moons for the Bamani Kingdom, and then I think these moons are for the, no, those don't look like they're the Bamani This probably is something adjacent to the Bamani Kingdom because it has that same symbol. You've got your um, activation pawns, and your, oh, this is your secondary activation pawns, these are your activation pawns. I love pawns. I don't feel like I see pieces like this often enough. I feel like I want them more in other games. They're just such a classic look. So. I might actually separate these by color since um, they are different factions. So red cubes are, I think, I think red ones are, um, That might be the, that might be the Vijayanagar Empire, actually. I don't remember. I'll have to check that one. So let me put them aside for now. Blue moons are the, oh, these are the Mongols, duh. That took me way too long to figure out in my head. Okay, I've got black moons and blue moons. I'm wondering if the black pieces are for a kind of automated faction. I guess I'm gonna keep them separate for now, and then I will check to see where they belong. 
So green cubes for the Deli Sultanate will go over here. Just gonna pull all this out. And now we take out the blue pieces. It's interesting that the moon and like the symbols on the blue pieces are so faint. Like you're definitely not gonna see that because I can't, now you can kind of see how it's like a little bit different but it's um, like more of a white than it is. A, um, it's not as contrasting as the gold. All right, now let's see. So I was a little bit off. The black pieces are for the Delhi Sultanate. Well, my camera decided to turn off while I was recording and I didn't notice. So I accidentally punched out the chipboard off camera. So I'm just gonna go over the pieces that we have. We have a victory marker for the... <laughs> we have a victory marker for the Delhi Sultanate. We have a victory and influence marker for the Bamani Kingdom. We have a victory and influence marker for the Vijayanagar Empire. We have our, is it 10? I think it's 10. Maybe not, nope, it's 12. Ooh, two extra. We have our 12 cavalry, which I mean, best part of the game is horses. We all know this. Well, I'm here to tell you that. We have these pieces here. They're all mixed together, the circular pieces, because they are showing who has the most influence in an area. So Bamani flag on one side, Vijayanagara flag on the other. And then we have the Delhi Sultanate flag on one side and the tributary on the other. These pieces along with the, let's get you out of the way for me over here. Along with the Mongol pieces, these are kind of all common pieces, I guess, where there's like a shared pool. So everyone has access to them. And given that, I'm going to put them in this bag and uh, just say that that's fine. Oh, the Mongols also have a charge token, which I should have, should have mentioned. It's one of the chips. Even with my nails, I'm powerless against the resistance of a table. All right, put that aside. Uh, the game came with these comically large bags, so I'm going to use those for our player pieces. separate because it's easier to set up as like the play it is everything is kind of player specific um and then you're going to have these pieces probably in your area anyway so i don't know it just feels like it makes more sense to have them separated even though they're going to be used in every game this might be wrong honestly we'll see i might come back to that and sort them into smaller bags but with my overly large comical bags this felt like the right choice this felt like our choice. And that is all of our pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back in the box. 
I had considered using an overly large comical bag to put the Vagina Car cards in a bag, but they fit so snugly into this insert that it just didn't feel necessary. Do that. We'll do our common pieces on the bottom and then our player pieces on top. All right, so then we have our board, our non-player player aids, our sequence of play, our faction um, description effectively or assistance. We have our playbook, our learn to play, our rules and reference, and our rules of play. There we go. And that is Vijay Nagara. I'm very excited to play and I love this game. It's got three players. It's just an all around great game. Definitely a good introduction to coin games if this is something you're wanting to get into. So I'll catch you next time and have fun gaming.